So I'm Zach Mafziger. I make stained glass windows. We are in my Byler barn. I, I call it a studio. When I walk into the shed, it is very much, this is a, a space to be creating in. And it's convenient to have this space to do it in. And it's even more convenient that it's you know, five feet from my back door. This is where I can come and destroy things just as easily as I can make things, which is half of being an artist in the first place. This actually becomes a whole, a whole second room uh, for our house. Um, everybody can use this space. We come out here, we do projects. My daughter can sit out here for 10 hours just as easily as I can. And it's great to have a space that we can just make things and that's filled with nothing but art. Everything's set up and organized to make things here. There's workspaces, there's supplies, everything I need. So a couple of things that were really important were a big window facing east so that I could see everything. I'd get great light. The side wall, I have nothing but transoms just so that it's more light. This is my space. This is important to me to have all my things as an artist. There's a thin line between being an artist and a hoarder, uh, but you really need to collect a lot of stuff to be an artist. So having this space that I can put uh, cards worth of glass, uh, anything, just anything that I can make and destroy and cover with lead and you name it, like, it's great. <laughs> the process was so easy. I could swap a window out, I could add five more windows, I could move a door, I could raise the ceiling, I could lower the ceiling, I could change the colors of it. And I sat outside as if it was Santa Claus or a ice cream truck and just waited. And I took pictures of them while they drove down the lane. They put my shed in the middle of the road to turn it around and it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Uh, and then pretty much just put it right in the spot in place. It was, it was absolutely amazing to watch the process and how good they were at doing their job. People always ask, where do you get your inspiration? And I say, it it comes from any, like anything can do it. People can inspire you, a line, a texture, you know, anything. So the extra windows on the three sides of the building really made that possible. So having an extra foot or two on the roof peak as an option was great. And the color of it, I picked a kind of a flat, charcoal color and then the other thing is the roof the metal roof and it's painted with a copper fleck and it's stunning add a couple things to the front of it to make it more artsy like a tiny little porch um, a sort of copper wall uh, that will eventually have vines or some kind of flowering something growing up it I do have a really good and thorough Facebook business page under ZN Stained Glass. I couldn't have been happier with the whole process uh, from getting my shed designed to actually having a finished studio that is my own. Uh, I would recommend this to any artist looking for their own spot.